Michael, 94.3 FM, The Talker. This is Sanity Check. And uh, on the line today, Michael, uh, we have my old uh, co-pilot. We used to have a transport company, and uh, Mr. O'Brien was uh, my co-pilot. We would talk about all kinds of subjects, and I got to tell you, there are a lot of people out there that think they know what they're talking about. There's a lot of these administrators that think they know what they're talking about, or or they really need to be more informed. But uh, Mr. O'Brien, you're one of the most informed individuals. Uh, educate us a little bit on uh, what this fair tax is and, and if, if that will help get rid of the IRS. Good morning. Good morning, Lou. And uh, we don't annoy our friends in the back of the van as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's driving crazy. Yeah, the fair tax. Uh, I, I'm, I'm by no means an expert. I don't mean an expert. I um, I studied it. I've read about. it. I don't spend like I have friends who read about it every day. They're prophesizing every day. But what it would do is it would eliminate the income tax and all the federal taxes, with the exception of excises, imposts, and tariffs, because those are constitutionally authorized. It would repeal the Sixteenth Amendment. Uh, it would get rid of all. Corporate taxes. Now, a lot of people, you know, they want to fight the corporations, which is kind of ridiculous since the corporations are the people that give us our jobs. Mm-hmm. Um, what they would, what would happen is, uh, instead of the uh, corporations being unpaid tax collectors, because they don't, they don't pay taxes, they collect them for the IRS. Um, they would eliminate all the cost, the waste that companies, you know, all the waste that the companies incur uh, by collecting taxes for the federal government and. So what would happen is, uh, one of the, the neat things about it is, number one, April 15th just becomes another fine spring day. Mm-hmm. Uh, people don't look forward to getting money back from the government, which is a phrase I always thought was kind of ridiculous, because you're not, you know, it's, it's like they're looking at it like um, uh, the money is, is a gift from the government. Right. <laughs> Your money. And yeah. they didn't even pay interest on it. Right. Of course, with the interest rates there are today, you wouldn't get anything anyway. Right. But the thing is this. Here's, here's the important thing. Uh, People spend an important amount of time in fear you know, because of the IRS. Yes. This is a Gestapo organization. They mm-hmm. have extra constitutional powers. I mean, you think about it. What, what agency of the government can go in and get your bank account without a warrant? Yes. They can try you without any constitutional uh, protections at all, not even a little bit. You, know, you actually sue them which makes you the person, it's like you know, the, the prosecutor you know, has to prove his case, you have to prove your case to the government. Now, the former governor of uh, New Mexico, uh, Gary Johnson, he ran uh, uh, on the libertarian ticket for president. Uh, he has been a big advocate or, or um, certainly pushed the fair tax. Now, as I understand it, and, and one of the things, Michael, that we always do, and, and, and Tim, what we do here is, what we try to do is educate our listeners as much as possible, tell them to go look these things up and 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 at least the word is starting you know we want to, we want people to start hearing fair tax.